direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your host, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases! And the chance to win three movie tickets with the poster pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave. Oh, Dave. What? what are you doing over there, Ed? <laughs> Welcome to the spooky Halloween show oh. with Ed and Dave. We decided this year, Dave, to go and uh, be the Invisible Men. That's right. And, and it yeah. worked so well because you can barely see us. We had to wear the hat so you knew we were on the set. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, that would be the only reason why we would be wearing these hats. Otherwise, we would be totally invisible. We would have been wearing our bowler hats from two Halloweens ago, but I couldn't find them. So I decided to put on these basic black hats. That's right. They're very nice. I like them. <laughs> All right. We have our big Halloween show. We have a lot of stuff to cover. So let's see what we have to cover here. Oh, we've got uh, the Ender's Game. Yep. And uh, Free Birds. Let me take a look here. And uh, Last Vegas also. Oh, that's the, isn't that the movie with all the old dudes in it? Yes. Oh. A lot of old folks in uh, Last Vegas. Oh, that's terrible. But uh, first up is Ender's Game, and I think you're going to do that one, Dave. I am, and here we go. This is a Halloween film, Dave. What, what, what makes you say it's perfect? <laughs> Got some science fiction in it. Really? Uh, 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 hold on, I'm thirsty. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. I can spin it to him. Nice. <laughs> right back in the cup. Well, of course it did. I may wow. be invisible, but I can still handle a, a, a can. <laughs> okay, Dave. I guess it's time for my film. Yep, yeah, go ahead. Which is Free Birds. Oh, is it with Leonard Skinner? <laughs> no. I think it's uh, yeah. the first, Dave. Yes, it does. Oh, God, I'm so parched. <laughs> Let me see what's next on the uh, agenda here, Dave. Oh, it looks like it's Last Vegas is the next one. And I can't handle my my can. Put your uh, try and put it back in the cup now, Dave. <laughs> it's spinning. I've lost control of it. Ugh. Get it right in there. Uh, oh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> it's tough when I can't see my own hand. I don't know very where to put it. <laughs> they kind of did this a few years ago. It was called Tough Guys. Uh, it was Kirk Douglas. <laughs> was and, it Burt Lancaster? Burt Lancaster were old guys yep. uh, robbing something. or well, I don't know. Yeah, they were like a old, uh, old train robbers or something from years ago. It's funny how my head moves as if it's my mouth. <laughs> we never moved like this when we were <laughs> visible then. No, because... <laughs> Because I'm only moving like this because of the clearly visible string coming off the side of the hat. There's, I don't see any strings. It's we, right there. We spent a half hour working on this. I can't see anything there. No, no CGI here. I'm, I'm sure we're not in high depth, so you won't be able to see. Oh, if you can't see it, then there really is not one. No. No, oh, okay, I didn't think so. All right, let me take a look here. Are you thirsty, Dave? I, I, apparently I am. I'll take a look at what's next while you take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it was your idea to do this costume thing. <laughs> I think it's working out pretty good. All right, move along, shall you, Ed? Uh, DVD releases. And I think we've we never gonna, looked better. We were going to revert back after the DVD releases, but I don't think I want to, except we have to hold the boxes. <laughs> All right. Oh, Monsters University is out. That did very well, Ed. It did. It did. did it? No, it didn't really, did it? I don't know. I, don't I just figured it did. It didn't do as well as they were thinking, I think. 
And was that in 3D? Yes. Oh, God. This movie looked horrible. And was horrible. And was horrible. Yeah. And I hope it rests in peace. That's it. That's it? Well, you know what we'll, what we'll do? We'll stay invisible. Okay. Until uh, we load up. We have some video of various monster cereals. Oh, that's good stuff. So we'll run some of those, and then when we come back, we will be visible. Because I, it's starting to wear off. <laughs> I can feel it. Is the, run, the running gag is running off? Oh. Why don't we, be, before we become visible, Dave. Yes? Why don't we take one more drink, and I'll lift up my paper one more time. There we go. I'm almost out of soda. <laughs> Next coming up is the monster cereals. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm the super sweet monster with the super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. Bethel, here's the super sweet new cereal, Frankenberry. But I've got chocolate sweeties for monstrous chocolate flavor. Well, I've got berry flavored sweeties for monstrous strawberry flavor. Count Chocula. Frankenberry. Hi. <laughs> Frankenberry. Count Chocula. It's Count Chocula's and Frankenberry's monster action rings. Turn it back and forth and make the monster move. Six different monster action rings. One free in specially marked boxes of Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Someone's come for a nutritious breakfast. What? Oh, hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry, my ghostly good blueberry flavored cereal, Booberry, <laughs> is part of this complete breakfast. Boogie-hoo-hoo-ray! Frankenberry's got strawberry-flavored marshmallows. Count Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. But I've got blueberry-flavored marshmallows. Frankenberry! Count Chocula! <laughs> and blueberry! <laughs> Have fun with monster erasers of the friendly monsters. Put them on pencils and put on a monster show. Six monster erasers. One in specially marked boxes of Frankenberry, Booberry, and Count Chocula. And look and listen to this. A Boo Hooter. Boo your friends with crazy hoots. Four different colored Boo Hooters, so you can make a Boo Hooter band. One free in specially marked boxes of Booberry. Fruit! Quiet! Fruit! Ah. Fruit! I'm me, Fruit Fruit, with my fruit flavored cereal, Fruit Fruit, part of your nutritious breakfast. True on you! But delicious Fruit Fruit has fruit flavored marshmallows for the howling good taste of fruit. Count Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. Frankenberry's got strawberry flavored marshmallows. Fruit! Fruit Fruit, with a howling good taste of fruit. Yes, of course. Monster, the monster cereal. Monster cereal. Did you have your racing car? You know, I don't remember the racing car. I don't. But I know that, uh, did you know that, like I said, these all started in 1971. Is that when it was? That's when it started with Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Okay, look at the prizes they're giving away. What are they giving this, away? Uh, oh my God, look at that. VCR kit there. Wow. Oh, and it's a GAF Viewmaster. And it's a Pier 1, uh, <laughs> Pier 1, uh, Cheers. So when they started, it was just the two monsters. It was, yeah, it was Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Count Chocula was originally called Dr. Count Chocula. Oh, yeah? For some god unknown reason. And of all the foods in the world, uh, producer Jim, for years, <laughs> survived on Freeze Pops, Pepsi, and Count Chocula. That's it. That's all. That's all, he That's had. all you need. That's right. This was where they had the actual monsters on the box, and they got in trouble because Dracula had the Jewish symbol. Oh, Look, look at that, early days of uh, <laughs> mixing the animation with the real footage. And when did the Fruit Fruit we already saw? Well, I do want to mention that in 1972, uh -huh. children started uh, having pink feces ads. <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> pink feces, it was known as Frankenberry stool. <laughs> this is true, because... The pink Franken poo was due to the pink dye used in the cereal, which kids could not properly digest in, in, in a process. So oh. <laughs> they had Frankenberry stool. Can you imagine going and it's, it's pink? Ed. Oh, I don't know if it was fluorescent or not. But then Booberry was in '73. That was the first blueberry flavored cereal. Mm -hmm. I like blueberry. Booberry, it's not bad. This is, was a, the creepiest Count Chocula. It was a white man. <laughs> Oh, look at, oh my god. Oh, oh, that is pretty bad. That's like the uh, creepy uh, 
uh, Burger King. <laughs> oh, God, that's a pedophile <laughs> if I ever saw one. <laughs> and now, okay, so that, then we had Blueberry in 73. We had Fruit Brew uh, in 74, uh -huh. which was a fruit-flavored, savory item. Ed. But it only lasted until 84, and it was discontinued. That's about 10 years. Right. Then it was replaced in 87 by Fruity Yummy Mummy, and that only lasted until 93. Now, since 2010, Frankenberry, Blueberry, and Count Chocula have been manufactured and sold only during this time of year. Yeah. Autumn, Halloween, and that's it. However, oh, look, we're back. Oh. Let me take another drink. <laughs> um, let's move our heads around. <laughs> now I'm going to try and put it back. There we go. Uh, but this year, all five are being reproduced, but there's been a change. Fruit Brute is not fruit flavored, it's cherry flavored. Right. And Fruity Yummy Mummy is not fruit flavored, it's orange cream flavored. Yeah, I did have the mummy, and that, that was pretty good. These are, this is the new artist rendition, the new artwork. I'm not boxes. thrilled with the new cartoon uh, yeah. characters. Yeah, they're kind of goofy, goofy looking. Uh, it's good to have them back though, even in goofy oh. form. True, they're tasty. <laughs> I like to eat cereal dry no milk oh. and then i eat all of the cereal pieces and leave the all the marshmallows to last uh -huh. then i eat all the marshmallows is that what you do that's what i do oh i always like frankenberry was my favorite with, okay. <laughs> with the strawberry stool okay did we go back to can we go back to the look at the mummy here has one <laughs> cut out of a tooth right there mm -hmm. and now if we look at frankenberry apparently frankenberry <laughs> has taken that one tooth mm -hmm. and put it in his head oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Count Chocula never had paddings. <laughs> he just had the two like beaver teeth in the front. That was it. You got that one? Well, the nice thing about this very odd Target oh. has the original there you go. packaging. The original artwork. And unopened, so apparently we'll be having some later. <laughs> well, I thought I'd give... <laughs> uh, Whichever was your favorite flavor to you to take home oh. as a parting gift, Dave. Parting gift? <laughs> you why, know, why uh, am I getting fired? No. <laughs> Just for a Halloween treat oh. for you to enjoy in whichever order you eat them in. This, of course, the producer. You'll have this one. Uh, he'll have Count Chocula. That's his. <laughs> That's his. What, what, what was your favorite of the early ones, though, Dave? Uh, probably Count Chocula. <laughs> Well, there's only one. So well, that's fine. Can. I don't want. I can take any of them. I, I'll I'll go with the fruit brute. There's the original fruit brute. This is the cherry one. Although I don't know what the original. Well, flavor. the original is. The original was fruit flavored. It was. Yes. The new one is cherry. As is, fruity yummy mummy was also originally fruit flavored, but now is orange, like an orange creamsicle. Yeah, flavor. that was a good flavor. Look at that. These are the original. Now let's compare that fruit. Go back to that fruity yummy mummy, and here's the new one. Oh, come on. It's no. much more colorful. It's course, colorful, so. but this one, but that's this one's so much better. <laughs> it is. Well, they had the, the original oh. boxes for a while, and they would play around with them later on. Really Even are. some of them had flickering eyes later on. Mm. I may have one of those boxes. So mm. here they are. Maybe I'll take the Frankenberry from you. Well, will you take the Frankenberry? Sure. Oh, we're coming over here. Yeah, let's spread them all out for Halloween here. All right. Well, no, we, we yeah. should do the original two. Uh, uh, on the same side. Over here. Okay. And then along came Blueberry. Uh, Blueberry. Oh, the original two, this this is not an original. That oh, one is. Oh, get Fruit Brute out of there. Oh, oh Frankenberry. This is like watching us tie strings <laughs> on hats. <laughs> there you go. Fruit Brute. Right. And then was... Uh, to be replaced by Fruity Yummy Mummy. I think they need to come up with another one. Like, uh, Human Centipede Grape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and those no. Great. See, the Human Centipede one's got to be chocolate. <laughs> yeah. That one's oh. got to be chocolate. Look, look at that. that. Yes, look at that. Oh, it's good to see all our friends again from 1973. It's, yeah, seven, yeah, 71 to 74. Look at that. Oh, it brings back such memories. No, not really. <laughs> oh, it was fun when I remember when Frankenberry first came out. Yeah, it was. was uh, um, me too. Count Chocolate was delicious. I'll, yeah, I'll take Frankenberry. I'll go. Okay, you're going to take that. Sure. Feel free to take two, Dave. Really? They were only two fifty oh, at Target. You're very generous. Uh, I have a whole set. All <laughs> <the time. laughs> 
Uh, well, there you go. You for your uh, Halloween enjoyment, folks. This is, and for you youngins watching the show, this is what it was like 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was our breakfast 40 years ago. The beginning of the end of nutrition. Right. <laughs> Are any, do any of these say fortified with 80 essential vitamins? I don't even think these are made with uh, whole wheat like a lot of the GMs are saying now. They didn't even bother with that. Ingredients, whole grain corn, sugar, cornmeal, marshmallows. I mean, it's it's half the side of this listing all of these. Thank God. This, Tastes good though. This can't. This is this is this is why I'm living on borrowed time right now. It's crap. They did it to us when we were we didn't know what we were doing. Young our kids. Parents were more than happy to throw a bowl at us and say, "Here, have your fruit flavored cereals for mm. breakfast." Enjoy your strawberry stools. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember having the strawberry stools as much, but I do remember... We were the, older, though. The blueberry did leave... Uh, Your tongue kind of blue. Yeah, right? anything it touched was blue. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> Let's make a cereal and load it up with dye. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. That was fun. We had a lot of fun on the Halloween show. Did we show Frankenstein? Oh, good Like, completed model? Should I, I'll bring him over here a little closer. Remember uh, a few months ago... I brought down the pieces, <laughs> <laughs> and if the grill glue holds, hopefully, uh, we'll bring him over here. This, of course, is uh, the Aurora box art uh -huh. model. This looks just like the uh, box of the Aurora model, which had the yellowish tints. It is very I usually creepy. paint mine grayish, but I was faithful to the original box. Where are you now? Yeah. That's very well done. Oh, wait till you see next week when I bring out the next one. I'm working on that. Uh -oh. <laughs> I have a few of the pieces here. But probably the, this is a big model. But the one next week is even bigger. Is it heavy? It's heavy. You brought it in, I believe. Did I? Oh, that was the box I carried in? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. There's a lot of resin in there. Is this thing like flashing? <laughs> Does it flash or is it the bad no, electrical cord? I think it's, <laughs> it, I think we're about to go up in flames. Uh, well, we have, I think. What are you doing for Halloween? You going to any big parties? At the Vapor Room? No, I don't do that. I did that in my heyday. Oh, wow. At least you had a heyday. Uh, remember, uh, I had the giant Jabba the Hutt costume. That was when I retired. <laughs> that was, uh, imagine a giant life-size Jabba the Hutt costume oh. being wheeled around in the Holiday Inn turf. <laughs> And not being able to see, except through a nostril about this big. <laughs> I cannot imagine that, as I had a hard enough time hanging hats in a can of soda. <laughs> Earlier tonight. All right, are we doing our game now? Oh, yes. Let's do the game. Let's do the game. This is the Post Affairs game, where people send in an email with two numbers, between one and six. Uh, we pull your name out, we reveal hopefully the correct numbers, and if, you're, if the posters match, you win two free movie passes, and if you're right, spin the wheel, we're going to spin the wheel for a chance to win ten. I just want everyone to know that this is legitimate. I'm mixing it up. Right. You're I'll do my best to reveal the, the correct numbers. Right. Are you being attacked by... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Pamela Barra Harder. Okay. She's the one who lost but won. Last week, she's going with different numbers this time, Ed. One and two. Can you remember those? Oh, really? One and two. Is she allowed to win two weeks in a row? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. The old next door boy. She's still not spinning the wheel, though, right? She's not spinning the wheel. Okay. Is she going to win with shockers this time? Yeah. 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 Oh. 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 And we're going to go with different uh, posters, but that was our... Early artwork for yes. the, our, the web series. Which has since been changed. We have our official outfits and monsters and current. Uh, well, there you go. That's the uh, Post Repairs game. Um, if you want to enter, send us an email to mediazone95 at gmail.com. Mediazone95. Is King Kong going to introduce the address? I think he might. He didn't do it live on the set because nobody wanted to wheel him out. Apparently he has fleas. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was unaware of as I stood next to him. Uh, there you go. It's e uh, email us at mediazone95 at gmail.com. Uh, give us two numbers between one and six. And if you want to spin the wheel, 
If you, if you win, we'll spin the wheel and for a chance to win 10 tickets, but you could also lose the two tickets that you win. Yeah. There's no, you know, there's not, it's not all reward. There are a little risk involved. So if we spin the wheel, you have one chance to make those two tickets into 10. Two to win 26. Look at that. Look at all those tickets. <laughs> two chances to win six, two to win four, six to win, to keep your two, five, you lose one, and two chances to lose both tickets. But it's worth it. It's worth it the is. risk. Because someone, who won, who won the 10? Do we know, remember? Betty Grinter. Betty Grinter won the 10. Right. I think she should take us. We're more than available. Absolutely. All week long. We are. All right, I guess we should wrap it up and wish everybody a happy Halloween. Be, be careful out be there. Be safe. Be safe. Don't eat any apples. They may have razor blades in them. Mm -hmm. oh. That's coming back this year. It's very popular. <laughs> a popular way of attacking <laughs> our children. Right. You don't want to have that. No, no. It, it's not attractive. Um, just candy that's in, in its proper packaging and wrappers. No loose candies. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. No uh, and please, popcorn balls. Anyone that gives you dum dums <laughs> or any kind of like mint hard candy, throw them back because that's not acceptable. You want you, know, you want some M and M's. You probably want some dots. Maybe some of those small Milky Ways, Snickers. You know the the fun size candies. You want the good legitimate candies. No crap, please. Remember the house that always had the full size Hershey bars. Oh, favorite. my favorite house. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going out to Walmart now to buy some dumb dumb. <laughs> Whatever's cheapest. That's, That's right. what I bet you. Yep. Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave. <laughs> Put your chest out, Dave. <laughs> oh, Ed and Dave with you. And Lelac. And spooky monsters. I'm scared, Ed. Oh, it's scary on the Halloween show, Dave. It is. But we have fun. We do? We do. <laughs> uh, you, you have a hand coming in and out of your shot there. Oh. We'll see that in a moment. That's the King Kong <laughs> that uh, the House of uh, Frankenstein donated to us. <laughs> he hasn't been out for a few shows, but there he is. Don't need him on every show. Just every once in a while. Every once in a while when we need an extra figure. Are we going to glow in the dark later? We're going to try and glow in the dark with our glow in the dark shirts. Okay. Be prepared for that later on. Lilac has brought her sexiest costume down. <laughs> and you like what, what you see? <laughs> and what's the woman doing? You're gonna have to. Can you stand up a little? Yes. <laughs> Look at the woman. Whoops! <laughs> foot, foot, foot. <laughs> Me on a normal basis here. <laughs> she's having an accident there. Oh. Whoops. Lilac is the whoopee cushion, and you wore that out to various bars and parties on occasion, right? Yeah, that's how I get the men. <laughs> With your whoopies. Oh. <laughs> Did anybody attempt to blow in your top? Excuse me? <laughs> isn't that, isn't that? <laughs> I'm saying all kinds of weird things. Isn't I don't even know. <laughs> this is the part you blow up on the whoopee cushion. Yes. You blow that up yeah. and the whoopee parts and then you sit on it. <laughs> and all kinds of fun uh, happens. Oh. Now over here on Dave, on your shot. Uh, I'm you blocked by a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to come back a little bit. King Kong is over there. There he is, right here. He was taken, luckily, uh, I think just a matter of timing on Facebook. That's why you have to join Facebook, Dave. I did, Ed. Uh, I, I wrote something on the House of Frankenstein wall. I became mm -hmm. friends with the House of Frankenstein. And I made some kind of comment. And then uh, Dave... Mm -hmm. realized uh, that I was the one on the show, which he'd seen, and offered us, <laughs> look at this shot here. Uh, let's see, we gotta do a little something. You've never looked so good. We'll do that. There you go. All right. Yeah, that's all right. And uh, he offered us King Kong, which they'd just taken out of the, the museum. So uh, luckily, they donated him to us, and here he is. That's right, our game. <laughs> what are you doing? I like if you can like get that and put it like on top of that web, like it can get out of the way. You want to do something with the web? <laughs> well, just so it's... Did you just do something with the web? I just threw yeah, it. Yeah, see? Okay. 
I wanted to see so uh, Laylac get up with her whoopee. <laughs> I would probably knock everything over and then fall over myself. So maybe I should just sit here. <laughs> sit there. Good idea. And make whoopee over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? We got some scary films tonight, Dave. Do we? We have Flight? Well, we had scarier films last week, I think. Yeah, probably. Flight? And this must be the place, and Wreck It Ralph, and the man with the iron fists. Oh, this must be the place has been dropped. You don't have to read. <laughs> you know, it's nice to be informed. What the hell is going on here? He gives me the sheet anyway, and then says it's been dropped. Could not find a trailer for that film. So what is it? This must be the place. I don't know. Is there anybody in that thing? Uh, yeah, Sean, Sean Penn, Penn, Francis McDormand, and Judd Hirsch. I don't know why that trailer wasn't available. Judd Hirsch is still alive, huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Wreck-It Ralph is first on the uh, schedule here. I don't think it is. I um, think it's me. I think it's me. I believe. Oh. <laughs> Let's find out. Wreck-It Ralph, you have any, uh, you're a fan of <laughs> video games, Lee, like any? <laughs> little problem with that material? <laughs> I know that you don't even itchy. see my hands. <laughs> Your hands. Uh, well, can you operate your hands under the whoopee cushion like there's an explosion about to, to happen there? <laughs> that's, a, that's a little one. There's a little one. Whoop. Uh, Whoop. Uh. All right, which one is next since we don't know the orders anymore? <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. No, it's flight. Day. It's flight. <laughs> 